everyone, it's Natasha again. Um, right now, we're going to be doing a little bit of something crafty, so come join me. We are going to be making a needle felted sheep pin. I realized uh, I don't have an example, I'm so sorry. Um, it's really cute, I posted a picture of it a few days ago. Um, so I hope you can join me. Hi to everyone out there. Um, we're going to be making a needle felted sheep. Hey Nora, you're my partner in crime with this one. Um, so come join me and get out your needle felting supplies if you've got some at home. Um, or learn a little bit about needle felting here. And today we'll be actually running um, a sale on free shipping. So any of their orders placed today until um, midnight, well, 11.59, you'll end up getting free shipping. You do need a special code, so go down to a post, um, a few posts down. The special code is there um, to use on our website to get free shipping. So uh, I'll also be showing a little bit later all of our critters of the month. I just released the new ones for summer, so I'll be sharing those as well. Um, but come join me. So some supplies that you're gonna wanna have it's very easy. We only need like three things. So um, we need your foam block and needles, so make sure you have that. Um, and that is your, your felting needles, your foam block to work on. Um, we need a little bit of the black needle felting wool. We need a little bit of white needle felting wool. And if you have it, some black yarn would be fun. So, um, hi Peggy! <laughs> Good to see you! Um, and so the black yarn is, is good, but you can also use black fiber as well. So either one of those is an option. Hi, Ying. Hello. <laughs> so, um, we're going to go ahead and start out with our little sheep. And this was actually a project we did that I wanted to revisit because of course it's sheep weekend being the open house and all. Um, but it's also just really fun and easy and cute. And Nora and I were brainstorming about a fun project for Stitches Midwest a few years ago. And we came up with this one and they were so cute. I mean, people put little hair bows on the sheep and they did all kinds of cute things. So, um, you know, just a, a fun little project that you can do. So, hi Rosa, thanks for your happy comment. Um, I will say I did some amazing videos this morning of the farm and I'm having a lot of trouble getting them to upload. So um, bear with me and I will try to get them on one way or the other as soon as I can. I, I need an IT person, so I'm some help. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. We have our white wool here and we're going to just tear off a little section. Now, I would say, you know, about two inches or so. So hold your hands far apart and pull. So just pull off a little bit of wool there. This is going to be for the body of the sheep. We're going to take two fingers and wrap it around to create a little, a little body there. And then just pull it off. And now we have like a donut, except there's no hole in the middle here. Let's see if I can move. I have wool hanging over here. We're in my classroom today, and since we haven't been opened, it's kind of like a teenager who just lets their room go like crazy, and uh, I have projects and wool and things all over the place, and I've been busy with planting and at the farm. So this week, I mean, I even have a pot of wool that was going to go on the stove to get dyed, and it never got dyed, so it's been a little crazy. All right, so a circle of wool, we're going to take and put that down on your foam block here. Now, I'm going to actually turn the camera down so you can see what's going on with my hands. So give me a second there. And, all right, whoops. <laughs> Let's move that in a little bit. Okay, perfect. Now I can still see you, and I can still see my hands. All right, and you can actually see my mess over there. Sorry about that. So we've got our little white circle. We're going to take our needles out and just pin this in and uh, one needle in the middle will hold it and that's going to be our helper needle so you don't have to hold it with your fingers. Now <clears throat> if you haven't needle felted before, this is kind of magical. These needles have special notches on the bottom that tangle the fibers together and so as you're poking it's catching the wool and turning it into felt. It's really fun. It's really, you know, great for kids too. I would say like, you know, ages six and up or so. And we're just gonna start. Keep your hand to the outside here. Hey, Don. 
and Dory. <laughs> and you're just gonna poke around the outside edge here. And as you're poking, just straight up and down, it's gonna start tangling together. This is a really great way to get your aggression out. <sighs> I don't know about you, but like the stay at home thing has, uh, has definitely been a burden to bear and uh, we could all use some needle faulting, couldn't we? <laughs> all right, so just keep on poking. For me, I guess one of my frustrations during this whole ordeal um, has been just learning how to like bend and curve with it, but also learning how to master technology. That has just not been fun for me. I am actually quite a, a creature who resists change, and so like having to change how we do things and, and all the technology has been kind of overwhelming for me. And at the moment, you know, I, I just kind of wish that... Uh, we could go back to old fashioned face to face. So, all right, so we're just poking this down, keeping it nice and flat. And the more you poke, of course, the tighter it's gonna get. So just keep on poking. And if you're doing this with me, drop a picture in here. I'd love to see your progress as you're working and where you're working. Maybe you're like outside enjoying this beautiful day. Maybe you're in a special room. Do you have like a studio, a special place that inspires you to create? I would love to see that. So. You could snap a picture. Of course, that might require more technology, right? We might have to be watching on one device and snapping a picture on another one. <laughs> All right, I see Sharon is watching. Hi, Sharon. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna flip that over to the other side and we're gonna poke on the other side. <sighs> I can already feel the stress melting away. All right, and as you're doing it on the other side, just little pokes, you don't have to poke very deep, just little pokes. If you poke real deep, you're just gonna get a lot of fuzz showing up on the other side and we don't really need that. So just little pokes. So I have a very special thing. <laughs> Sharon's is felting is so relaxing. Yes, oh my goodness, I know. I just realized like, my day has been so hectic. I sit down here and I'm felting and I'm like, wow, this is really relaxing. <laughs> um, yeah, so at two o'clock, I have a very, very cute and special uh, video that my sister-in-law um, recorded for us for our virtual open house today. Um, she's our amazingly talented musician and you're gonna get a real laugh. I maybe even cried a tear. She did a special little rendition of a favorite song featuring sheep. So you're gonna love that. And then she also had another favorite in there. And then at three o'clock, we're gonna be doing our interview with my mom. I know we've all missed her so much. So I'm looking forward to sharing some of your comments and things like that. And we're hoping, I have to see, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that live or if we're going to record it the the signal's not so hot at the farm so we'll have to see what whoops what works okay so i flipped it over boop, boop, both sides and i think we're ready for for the rest of the uh rest of the sheep here right <laughs> hey diane <laughs> are you enjoying another bowl of that soup that looks so good mine smells amazing for those of you um we we just did a soup demo earlier check that out that was really fun actually it gives me a lot of ideas i was like this would be fun to do little videos talking about cooking and what we're working on okay sorry i digress oh my goodness i'm getting like so scattered all right next thing legs so we're gonna take a little bit of that yarn, uh, about four or five inches or so, and we're gonna just cut that off. And we need to give some little feet down here. So we're gonna give a couple of feet. Let's see, making sure everybody can see okay. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna pull off a little bit of black here, and, <laughs> Diane said two bowls. Yep. That sounds about right. <laughs> so we're going to take this fiber. We're going to wrap it around the end of our yarn to make feet. So just kind of wrap that around nice and tight. You can fold it over a little bit. 
basically we just want to like, as someone said at one of our demos, make it like a Q-tip. Then pin that into your foam block there. And we're going to give it a few little pokes, just some short little pokes. Now our sheep are Cheviot sheep and they are all white. But these would be Hampshire sheep or Suffolk sheep and um, they have black faces and black legs. All right, flip this over. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah's my dryer ball lady. She makes lots and lots of dryer balls out of our wool. <laughs> I know so many talented people and I sure miss you all. Oh my goodness, we are making plans. We'll be announcing soon um, when and how we're opening. And we will still continue our porch pickups and all that kind of stuff as well. So we're trying to make plans to go forward here this summer. So we're pretty excited about that. Also, I don't know if you know, we are running a sale today. Free shipping on any sized order. So save a boatload, spend it on more wool. And uh, there's a special code down in the post below that you can use all day until midnight. Well, until 11.59 and uh, you can you can save on shipping and we'll ship you out some supplies. <laughs> All right. There we go. We're going to take and make another little foot on the other side. Sorry, my hands are kind of grody because I was out in the garden and I was planting tomatoes and tomatoes stain your hands, so... I don't have like perfect manicure hands today for you. Sorry about that. Have to say though, the quarantine definitely has uh, made us all have new levels. You know, I did shower today. That was a huge accomplishment, right? <laughs> I still haven't put on any jeans though, folks. I have stuck to my to my comfy pants. It's gonna be it's gonna be harsh when we have to. Uh, integrate back into society. My sister-in-law and I were saying how there's going to be a lot of a lot of white flab out there this summer, mine included. Oh. Felt faster, felt faster. I'm sure I can work off a little bit of weight that way, right? <laughs> okay, so now that we've got our feet, we're going to just give them a little gentle roll on either side. There we go. So now they're kind of dangling like that and we're going to attach it to our body. So we're going to take our body, we're going to put the feet hanging down there. Let's just take a little extra white and put that over top to hold it down. Now the trick with this is that we don't poke very deep. So we just want to do these little short pokes because then it won't push that black through to the other side. Just little short pokes. Dawn said that her, was it your sister's dog ate your last sheep? Oh dear. You know, animals just love this wool. I've heard that time and time again from people that their animals like smell the sheep or something and I get it, but I'm also like, this wool has made so many steps in transforming. You know, that raw wool from the farm looks nothing like this wool. This wool has been washed and carded and processed, and then it comes back and we dye it. So it's actually been, you know, washed several times. So I don't know. There's just something, something sheepy in there, t I guess. Okay. So there we go. So basically we want to just feel, you know, those legs. Are they stuck in there? Feels pretty good. Okay, we're going to flip it over to the other side to continue. And we're going to continue with the face there. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add a little face. And we want to do that by taking a small sliver of black. And we're going to wrap that around your pinky finger. So just wrap it around your pinky finger, make a little face, slide it off, and then tuck that on there. So there's our little face. 
And if we go around the outside edge, we're gonna be able to get that to stay and kind of define our shape nicely. So this is a like a front view of a sheep, right? So you've got the legs, you've got the head, we're gonna add some ears. There we go. And again, I'm just poking little pokes, not very deep. So we made these at the um, art educator shows and I remember it's such a cute little fun project but my beautiful art teachers out there, I don't know if we have any art teachers listening in today, um, y'all are so creative that they just were like, ooh, could I make this into a panda? Could I make this into a this? Can I add this to it? So in a way, it was very, uh, it was kind of basic for, for them because, you know, they, they had all these creative ideas, which was really fun and inspiring. Um, but I had to laugh because here I was just trying to create a very simple project and they were like, oh no, let's, let's see how we can embellish it and be more creative. So art teachery, right? Okay, so I don't know if you caught that there. I just took a little bit of fiber and folded it up for my ears and then kind of rolled it in my fingers. You can also breathe on it <laughs> because the moisture in your breath helps those fibers to kind of join together. And that's just gonna lay across the top here. Let's just pin it in. And then, whoops, where's my other needle? There we go, and then we're gonna poke that across. All right. There we go. Okay. So just make sure that everything is stuck in there. You know, give the legs a little tug. I feel like my legs are a little uneven, but it looks like she's dancing, you know. And there we have it. We have our cute little sheep. So a real simple project that you can do is really fun to, um, you know, work on with kids and things like that. Uh, so I want to show you some of our newest um, felting kits for, for summer. So we're going to go backward. Yes, let's go backwards in the year. <laughs> Linda says you make it look so simple. Well, I encourage you, take a stab at it. It really is that simple. Ha 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 ha. Okay, um, so... All of our kits are really fun. They come with your fibers, everything, you know, like pre-portioned and whatnot. And then the video tutorial is on our website. So those are all free and accessible video tutorials. Um, go to the website, you can look them all up. So our critters of the month, we have like a new one coming out every month and um, you can look. Um, so baby dragon. That's July and it comes complete with like the little, the little spines and everything like that. So that one's really cute, so fun. And then for June here, cause we are quickly approaching, where, how did summer get here? So crazy, right? We have a dolphin. I just love this, this is so fun. You just wanna play with it, right? So a little dolphin and they're easy shapes. This is one full shape and then the flippers are added to it. Um, so that's our, our June one, the dolphin. And then, oh, this is so adorable. We have, whoops, our May is this little cutesy panda bear. I mean, how fun is that? With some embellishments that kind of look a little bit like he's sitting in a bamboo forest, that's May. So those are my two newest ones. I just, just whipped those out this week. And I kind of ran out of time, but I was going to make the sloth. Oh my gosh, I've got a great idea for the sloth. So the sloth is going to have, um, he's August, of course, because right, August is the slothiest month of the year. But he's going to have pipe cleaner arms and legs so that you can attach it to things. So you could have a sloth anywhere in your house. Um, you can tell the quarantine has gotten to me, right? Um, so that is May. We have, oh, April is so sweet. It's the little sea turtle. I just love that. And these are fun. I made these um, out of silk fabric and fabric stiffener, and they are so great. They look like little ocean pads. I just love those. Um, so I dyed the silk and then stiffened it with um, fabric stiffener. 
and it includes all your embellishments and everything like that so that's super cute um and then we have march is the sea otter no i'm sorry river otter isn't that cute <laughs> so chubby um and he's got like the little sparkly water and rocks and all that kind of stuff and then he's floating on a little gold leaf and then we have that was March February is a fox February fox that one's real sweet a little woodland fox and then of course January we started the year out with this little I saw your cute um otter Louisa that was adorable thank you for sharing that um, and then we have a little unicorn for January, which is super fun and cute. So the idea with the critters was we wanted to keep like a very consistent, you know, size and shape. Um, so they're very easy for beginners. They all have kind of that same shape and they start out just as a single piece. And so you add a few parts to it, but it's really easy to do. Um, so those are our, our critters of the month kit. I think we are like up to over 40 kits now. It's really amazing. Um, so those are all on our website and you can order today with free shipping. Um, we're doing that as our open house special today until 11.59 tonight. So uh, go shop and check it out. Uh, we also have a bag of colors, which is just this wonderful like array of different colors. So if you are just wanting to play and embellish, um, we actually made really cute chicks the other day in our homeschool uh, co-op. We did it via Zoom. And so I sent the supplies to the kids and we were, I'm trying to just to make things, you know, a little bit more fun, a little bit more normal. So we made the chicks and then because it's summertime, I had some, you know, in my stash, that has been one of the benefits of this quarantine is like going through things and cleaning up. I found these little mini cocktail umbrellas. So I sent them with one of those and then some extra colors and they were like, oh, we can use the block as the sandy beach and then they took and they put the colors on for a beach towel or a beach ball and then they put the umbrella and stuck it in here and then they had their little chick next to it and so it looked like a little chick at the beach it was really cute um, and they were just having a fun time with that and so you know having a few colors on hand is nice um, I've also been dyeing some new curlies and things like that so I have lots of fun plans and um, things for the summer. Um, for those of you who watched our live back, uh, let's see, let's see, a couple weeks ago, a month ago or so, we had like some fun yarns that we were doing and crazy bats and, and fibers and things like that. Um, we're going to be continuing that this summer and I actually have a great idea for a new vine. I was planting um, some beautiful Swiss chard this week and I noticed how gorgeous the colors were. So we're gonna be doing a whole new um, yarn line that is going to be completely inspired by our garden and the colors that we find in planting and harvesting in the garden. And those will be um, available via Facebook live shows in limited quantities. So there's gonna kind of be like a summertime activity of dyeing fibers and yarns um, inspired by the vegetables. So kind of pairing those two together. So that's just an idea I ran across the other day. And, um, you know, we've got lots of fun, fun things coming up in our planning for reopening. So we will keep you posted on that. And uh, we're just finalizing, you know, details on reopening and classes and how that will look, um, you know, in this upcoming time. So stay tuned on that as well. Um, as you can see, I've always got a project going. These are some of our fun um, little happy words cards that I've been working on and they're kind of in process. So always staying creative, friends. I hope you are too. So thanks for joining me for our little sheepy pin. I hope yours turned out quite cute. Um, I would love to see maybe some little flowers or something like that you could add, um, you know, things like that. So uh, you know, just, just get some ideas, post a picture for me of what yours turned out like. Um, I miss for the open house, um, you know, doing doing group activities and seeing everybody's projects and things like that. That's always a fun thing. So post some pictures so we can share and interact. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. 
and um, I appreciate all your love. We miss you. We'll be in touch and join us at two o'clock for a special music debut, brand new unreleased music by Ashley Lewis and three o'clock for um, an interview with my mom. We're going to check in at home with her. So thanks guys for joining me. So fun. We'll see you all later. Bye. <laughs>